Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide to the 4v4 plus 4 rondo made famous by Pep Guardiola, the current Man City coach, who was previously at Bayern Munich and of course also at Barcelona. There's lots of videos of this rondo online, but none that really explain how to run the exercise step-by-step -step for beginners. This video will fill that gap, so please keep watching. Firstly, let's address what you need in terms of players and equipment. So you need at least 12 players, and if you've got more than 12, that's fine. You can rotate them in and out of the exercise. You need some soccer balls, obviously. You need six cones or six bibs to be used as markers. In this example, you can see we've used bibs instead of cones. You'll also need two different colored sets of four bibs. These are also called pennies or pinnies in the US, by the way, just so we're clear and all talking about the same thing. Here you can see that we've got yellow and orange bibs to split the teams. Now let's look at the setup. There are two teams of four players in different colored bibs. They are shown in red and white in this graphic. Then there are four neutral players. No bibs are needed for them and they are shown here in yellow. The graphic gives you an idea of how this exercise works but we will talk about that in more detail shortly. There are various field size options that you can use but it's a good idea to start out with a field that's 10 yards wide and 15 yards long as you see in this first clip. Yards and meters are roughly the same by the way. In this clip the field is 15 yards wide and 20 yards long so there's more room and less pressure but you can always adjust the space depending on the level of your players and whether or not they are able to keep possession. If it's too difficult you might want to consider making the space bigger and if it's too easy to keep possession and there are not many transitions between defense and offense you should reduce the size of the space. Now let's see exactly how it works. The four players without bibs are always on offense and they stay in their positions. The other two teams of four players essentially compete to keep possession or to win it back. The four players on the outside of the rectangle work with the players not in bibs, so the game is basically 8v4. Once the defending team win the ball, they should replace the team on the outside of the rectangle as quickly as possible, but the game doesn't stop so they've got to get the ball to one of the players not in bibs and then transition to the outside. In the meantime, the other team need to react and try to regain possession as quickly as they can. As the coach, you can decide on the length of each game or segment, but a good starting option is to play for around four minutes with the focus being on playing at high intensity. At the end of each four minute segment of play, you can change the neutral players, the ones not in bibs, or leave them to play another segment. Make sure to briefly ask your players what they thought they did well and what they can do better. Then ask them to go back into the next segment and show you those improvements. You've got the choice of using touch limitations if you want to push your players to make quicker decisions. If you're just starting out with this exercise, it's probably best not to place touch restrictions on your players until they get used to keeping possession comfortably. Then you can introduce restrictions such as two touch maximum and that will push them to make quicker decisions and pass the ball faster. Players love to compete, so if you can keep score, it gives them extra motivation and incentive. Playing the ball from end to end is the easiest way to keep score, with a point for each time they go from one end to the other, while on the outside as the offensive team. Whether you are a youth or adult team, this is a really great exercise and it is guaranteed to massively benefit your players if you are patient and stick with it for a period of time. Don't forget, patience really is the key. Press pause here if you want to take a look at the variations and key concepts in more detail. Thank you for watching. Good luck and let us know in the comments how it goes for your team.